And I want to spend some time with you Just the two of us We can make Normally during Valentine's period people tend to exchange gifts obviously the very common thing people do at night is to dress up, wear their LBDs, their little red dresses and then go out for a meal, come back, have just a good time with the love of your life and that's some of you don't have love of your life, some of you don't have partners well, this video might not be for you, but then again, you could always give anyone gifts or just spend your day really beautifully as well. This season, obviously, some people are out of lockdown, but then again, some people are in lockdown. Then again, a lot of us are already used to really staying at home and doing things like indoors. So I would love to give you some creative ideas and ways you can spend your Valentine's in 2021. <music> First one, breakfast in bed. If this is something you have never done, I'm sure some of you have never ever given someone breakfast in bed. You've never been given breakfast in bed. Hopefully, your partner is watching now and they'll creatively give you breakfast in bed. So breakfast in bed is just being really cute with the breakfast. Obviously, serving it while the person is in bed. There's usually like this um, things you can put on the bed just so that he or she can sit down and enjoy. In fact, both of you can actually enjoy breakfast in bed together. Use um lovely maybe if you're having parfait that's involved. Use lovely fruits like strawberries, it just looks so good. Valentine's, the red, and you can have pancakes. Yeah, just be creative, with whatever it is. But just the thoughts behind the idea of giving your partner or both of you having breakfast in bed is a cute and creative way to spend Valentine's at home on lockdown. <laughs> The second one I'll say is for people who are creatives or people who don't mind being on social media, creating a couple tag kind of TikTok or a relationship tag kind of TikTok. Ideas like the one of like who is most likely to do this and you guys like this will be like a year, things like that will be really cool if you guys are both into content creating or even if one person is and the other person is always forming, fronting, you can actually use Valentine's Day to be a nice partner and film a couple stack. You don't have to post on social media, you guys can just do it for yourself. It's just really fun when you're answering the same thing or you're answering differently. It's just really fun because it, it gets guys talking and just, you know, the reason why you're choosing the other person for doing it. I don't know, just a creative way to spend your Valentine's at home. Who likes who more? <laughs> <laughs> who keeps who first? Okay. Who's more stubborn? The third one I would say is take a walk. Walking is one thing I really enjoy. It's one thing that I started my current relationship with and it's something I suggest too. You can just walk around sports. You can even drive if you don't want to walk. Even if there's no lockdown, like you can literally just get into your car, you get drive to places that bring back memories or just places that have something to do with you guys. So just generally driving and just talking about like what's happening, what you're seeing out there. It's not really an indoor thing, but it's just a different kind of way legally in lockdown to so spend your valentine's day with your partner obviously there should be maybe some treats in the car or if you're walking maybe a bottle of something just walking drinking talking making memories taking pictures as you're doing that The fourth one I would say is a home cooked meal. So this home cooked meal could actually be cooked by one person or even both of you. It's so cool. I feel like really happy when I'm in the kitchen cooking and even if he's not cooking, just sitting down just, just with me. Just a lovely way. So you guys just make a meal together that will be in the home. You buy your candles obviously, settle down on the table, dress up, maybe not to your shoes, but just dress up at least up upper body. We'll take pictures and just make memories. <laughs> Fifth one would be a home spa session. So this would be good if you have like a lovely bathtub because it would be lovely to just end the day inside the bathtub. So you can give each other pedicure, manicure, you know, wear face mask on your face. Just generally chill in the house but take care of yourself, your skin. This because I'm sure it's not something people do together. You probably do it alone, you know, on your own. Or just on Valentine's Day, take time to spoil yourselves. Just buy something. You can even buy a set of skincare that you know those things you use once a month and stuff like that. 
just use the Valentine's Day or Valentine's weekend whenever you guys have the time to practice that at home. Next one is something everyone does already so is watch movies at home this however has to be planned because it's not really nice when you actually sit down everybody has popcorn and then you're searching for a movie you start one you're not even understanding what's happening stand down mm -mm, go and research your movies even if it's three just three movies or you can start a new tv show that you've heard so much about you know have a research have uh, just a couple like three to five depending on what you guys like but you guys just try and meet in the middle and then binge watch all of them have your treats have your popcorn have your sweets have your alcohol if you drink have your juice have just have a good time lounging obviously we're wearing loungewear you can wear um, lingerie just yeah it's just a vibe so basically your netflix and if you have energy you know those kind of tense tufts or hot or whatever you call them that kids build and go in you can do something like that if you guys are creative diy yeah, people put lights inside let your tv just be at the end of it and snuggle on each other pillow cuddle duvet <laughs> And then last but not the least, um, just think of very creative little gifts that are personalized to exchange. So one guide with for Valentine, you know when you saw your Christmas wish list and stuff, I did um, two videos of Christmas wish list for men, I also did another one for Christmas wish list for women. So on that list obviously if you followed it, you would have bought one or two things from there. If there's something else you were thinking, oh my god I, I could have bought this for this person, maybe now is the time to go there and just get the gifts from that list. Um, also Moonpig, I don't know, Moonpig.com, if you're in the UK, I think Canada, Europe, some countries, yeah, some continents have Moonpig.com. So just go there and get your personalized card. It's so beautiful because you can put pictures of you and the person. You can write the words you want yourself. They also have some really affordable gifts like jean, a, pack, a set of jean or a um, set of baileys and chocolate. Like they have really, really lovely random gifts there. So that's another option. Just exchanging little cute gifts and... Um, Personalize them as well to your partner. Didn't even think I needed anybody else for myself. Always had a reason to turn down someone. That's about it for the ideas I have. If there's any other ideas you have for how to spend um, Valentine's Day in lockdown, please leave it in the comment section. Hope you guys are good. Hope you're staying safe. How you're doing. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment because I love to read from you. Thanks for joining my tribe and thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.